Hello, Church at Malpe Monroe families. I hope you're all doing well as we start this new week and you're sheltered at home. Um, our family's been going on a lot of walks, so it's been kind of nice to get out um, and you get exercise. So I'm sure many of you are like me. When you're at home, I feel like I eat a lot. <laughs> so I'm try, trying to get a handle on that, but that's been kind of difficult. Um, I just wanted to give you some information about um, our small group lesson for tomorrow that's going to be sent out. Um, there are some things that you need for the lesson. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to print out some things in the lesson so hopefully you all have access to a printer. Um, and then you can print that out and then cut those out and use them for the lesson. Also, if you choose to play the game, you'll need a pair of kitchen tongs. But if you don't have tongs, you can use something different like tweezers or anything. Um, even just the kids can just use their mouth for the paper. Um, and then you'll need some scratch paper and some pencils. So um, as you get ready to do that with your family, I just want to let you know that you do need those things. Um, if for some reason you don't have a printer um, and you let me know, because I'll probably be in the office maybe a couple times tomorrow and Thursday, I could probably print out some and put it outside the door if you wanted those. So you would just need to let me know if you don't have access to a printer. And I hope you're doing this with your family. We did it last week as a family and it was fun. We even played the game um, and the kids seemed to enjoy it. So it's just another way that we can reinforce the kids' church that we're doing on Sunday. Um, and also we are memorizing the Lord's Prayer. I know some of your kids probably already know it, but if they memorize it, then at the end of this six week series, they will get a prize. Um, so would love to have all families participating in this. Um, remember, it's a great time for you to lead your kids spiritually. Um, and I know parents have a lot of responsibility on them right now, especially with schooling. I feel the same, the same way, um, but really trying to make uh, these spiritual practices a priority at our home. Um, so I would love to hear your experiences as, you, as you're doing the small groups with your kids. Um, and, you know, some kids are going to probably talk a lot. Some kids probably aren't, and they're going to ask, when is it over? But at least you're putting those um, practices in place so it's going to become a habit for your family. Um, so that's just some information. Also, if your kids are playing the scavenger hunt, it's been a lot of fun to see pictures of kids doing that. Um, if you're not, if you don't like us on Facebook, go on to Facebook and find the Church at Maltby Monroe Kids Life and also on Instagram so that you can have your kids play the games with us. Um, it's been kind of fun. Um, I have a couple of families that have been chatting with me through Marco Polo. So if you have Marco Polo, I um, would love to connect with your kids that way. Um, my phone number is 425-773-5238. Your kids can text me. Um, find me in Marco Polo. Message me on Facebook if you're comfortable with that. Um, Any way to stay connected. Um, so, hope you guys are doing well. Um, sure do miss seeing all of your faces. It is really different. I know I say this in all the videos, um, but it is really different not being able to meet with you every week. Um, but know that we are praying for your family and know that through all of this, God does have a plan. Um, so, I'm excited to kind of see what that is. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. Would love to connect with you. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are all having a great day, and hopefully I'll talk to you later.